What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be checking out some new arrivals and restocks at eKnives. I glanced through the pages here and there's actually some pretty interesting stuff that I want to share with you guys. So we're just going to jump right into it. I will link these pages right down in the description so you guys can check them out if you want to. If you don't want to listen to my commentary, you just want to shop quietly by yourself, that's fine. These will be linked down below, the restocks page and the new arrivals page. So make sure you check them out. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons. Thanks for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. We have, that's a pretty nice looking ultra tech. Is that a uh, carbon fiber one? Yeah, that's pretty cool. At, at some point, I, I kind of want to, uh, I, I keep wanting to add a special ultra tech to my collection. And there's actually one in here that if it, I think if it had just one additional element that I would buy it. And I'll share it with you guys here in just a sec. Uh, it's going to be more towards the end because um, I found it on a later page. Um, but it, it is interesting and I've never actually seen the blade shape before. These are so cool. I, I really want one of these like muddy, <laughs> it's just like wet sand. Um, the uh, the tan Cerakote Ultratex are actually really cool. And what is it? This this seems appropriately priced to me. Like Microtex pricing just blows my mind. It's so weird. It's like, oh, you want frag texturing? That'll be um, an extra hundred dollars. Or you want, you know, like a thin piece of carbon fiber? Again, another hundred dollars, hundred twenty-five. Oh, you just want the whole thing, Cerco? Okay, it's twenty-five bucks, right? Um, okay, whatever. Uh, maybe, maybe there's more of a reason there. I have no idea, but um, yeah, that seems pretty fair to me. There is a manual combo edge Tanto Socom Elite sitting there. Those are the USA ones. If anybody's confused, these are the ones that are made in the USA. These are the ones that everybody wants. Uh, might be worth picking one up that's serrated because those are few and far between, right? And if you like serrations, then definitely go for it. That is definitely one of the coolest looking direct deltas that I have ever seen. Uh, gray with a black blade. Man, that is sick. So um, this is probably one of the better priced large Microtex that you can get. I own this knife. I think it's beautiful. I think it absolutely completely and totally makes the Benchmade Infidel look like an, just a fool's choice. Let's put it nicely, a fool's choice. This is everything that the Benchmade Infidel is, but better. Better materials, better firing, better actuation, better design. Everything, 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 everything. I honestly, I mean, it's the thing that the reason I'm I'm bringing up the Infidel is because the Infidel is a really cool looking design that's just executed very poorly. It has the floppiest blade of any OTF I've ever handled. It has a floppier blade than the freaking Lightning OTF. It deploys at the, the, at the speed of a sleeping turtle being pushed uphill through peanut butter. It's absolutely ridiculous. And they use D2, right? And they still produce that thing. Buy the Direct Delta. It's a way better design. Uh, moving on here, let's see. Well, there's a ton of there's a ton of um, Medfords, the Vulcan bladed ones. I imagine a lot of those are either 3V or S35V, and I'm actually just gonna check real quick. If you want my opinion, if you're gonna buy a Medford, buy a Marauder. Um, in any, that's S45 VN. The Marauder and, you know, maybe, I mean, you could say maybe the, the Slim Praetorian or whatever, but the Marauder, the Midi Marauder, right? Or the Slim Midi. Those are some of the best designed, I think, uh, uh, of, of everything. Those, those are some of the ones that make the most sense. Um, the Benchmade, that's the new Benchmade OTF. Still doing that skinny blade wide handle thing. Um, I'll wait, I'll wait and see. Uh, the XOKs are here. You know, I had previously stated that I thought that these were wildly overpriced, but for some reason in my head, I, I had it that they were like $300. They are not. They are 167. It's aluminum. And what's the blade steel again? Is it N690? Yeah, N690. Um, listen, the fa it also comes with a trainer, which you should definitely utilize so that you do not cut yourself. I didn't spend enough time with the trainer. I cut myself. This is a wild, if you really want this thing, if you don't know what this is, it's a morphing karambit. The thing whips and freaking Decepticons its, itself into a karambit and then you can whip it back into the closed position and it's so wild. Um, but uh, it comes with a trainer. So I don't think that's a bad price, honestly, um, if, you, if you want something like that. What is this? <laughs> what does it say? Don't mistake my size 
for weakness? Is it <laughs> referencing the size of the object or the size of the person carrying it? Either way, I think this is the cringiest thing that I have ever seen. And you only have to pay $360 to pick it up. Ugh. <laughs> like, is the, is the adversary going to read that before they get attacked with it? And he's like, oh, no, I have clearly underestimated both the, both the person and the weapon. I have definitely made a mistake and I'm about to pay for it. And then they, it gets buried in their forehead. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's crazy. Uh, here's something that's cool and good. The Kershaw Livewire. This is one of, if not the very best, USA OTFs on the market. I, I still think I, I like the Guardian Tactical Recon 35 slightly better, but my goodness, I mean, it's this, it's $240. And believe me, this thing is wonderful. You see how the, the, the pocket clip is a little bit angled? Wait until that thing's in your pocket and you go, oh man, that's beautiful. It just, it's, it's Kershaw knocked this one out of the park. And CPM 20 CV, right? Uh, it's the same size as like the Ultratech. Uh, it's got a little bit, I think it's got a little bit cooler look to it, a little bit cooler profile. I'm telling you, if you're thinking about a USA, and don't don't get hung up on it. I'm not paying that much for a Kershaw. <laughs> that's, that's, that's idiot noise. That's idiot noise. Don't let that come out of your face hole. This is made in the United States. It's made, I mean, it, it's CPM. It's not like Kershaw 20 CV. It's not like they take 20 CV and they're like, they, we need to somehow like make this, you know, bad 20 CV so that it can be on a, cur no, like don't associate, Kershaw is capable of manufacturing quality and they have to go through the same steps as any other larger USA OEM out there. So same wear and tear on the machines, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? It's an OTF. There's much more uh, complicated parts on the inside, the chassis, right? The, the way that it operates. Uh, this is worth every penny. I've handled it. Um, don't, uh, you know, don't do that thing that you, you associate Kershaw, like, like, I mean, a lot of people just think like, oh, it just makes me think of like the Walmart, you know, knife counter. Yeah. Because those are the, the Chinese Kershaws that, you know, and, and they're also like eight years outdated, right? Um, that's why people think that, but Kershaw has a wonderful high end. Speaking of, um, the launch 16, literally the only knife that I would be tempted to buy that has serrations, that exclusively has serrations. They do need to make a version of this. It does not have serrations, but this thing is awesome. Uh, that That is my favorite, even with the serrations, that is my favorite Kershaw launch that they have ever done. 150 bucks for that thing and it's an M4. Can't recommend that enough, seriously. Uh, I love that thing. Look at all these, they got a ton. Of, I didn't notice these the first time I went through. This is another great one. This one's been around forever. These are all, all the launch series of USA. This is really cool. Wow, Benchmade, whoa, calm down there, guys. Calm down there. $270, is this aluminum? Oh, no, it's G10. Ah, boy, about 100 bucks less, and that would be really interesting. I love the tagged out, I love it, but my God, what was the standard one? FRN and it was 180 bucks? I made a meme about people complaining about Benchmade pricing, and here I am doing it. There's the Dirac and the, I want to see the Dirac Delta in dirty, in, in muddy sand. That's what I want to see. That's a sweet combat Troodon. Same look as the uh, Dirac Delta. See, this is, this is why I say the Dirac Delta is such a great price because for 150 more dollars, you get a slightly beefier OTF made exactly the same way, right? Uh, slightly beefier and maybe what a quarter inch longer at most. <laughs> Um, okay. I remember buying my, um, listen, if you want the combat Troodon, buy it. I have two of them and their signature series and I paid way too much. Right. So I'm sitting here complaining, but I'm, I'm a hypocrite. Uh, and I love them. They're really cool. But I remember buying my first combat Troodon for $365. <coughs> I still remember the date on it in May of 2014. It was a long time ago, metal complex. That was nine years ago. Shut up. I didn't, I didn't ask you. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's let's get back to this zombie combo. No, no, no. That's a Hera Hellhound. That's the first time I've ever seen it. I didn't know they did. Um, 
That's got to be one of the least expensive. Like, so the Hera deploys. Like, okay, so like I kind of classify um, the Microtech OTFs in in different classes, right? Um, <laughs> I classify them in different classes. Yes, it's a very sophisticated way to say that. Uh, you have the smaller uh, groups like the UTX-75, UTX-85, and at the peak end of that, I put the Ultratech. Now, these all deploy, and, and I would also put like the regular Troodon and the um, the the Dirac, the standard one. These, these all deploy with less than, they don't have the same type of power as the bigger boys, right? Absolutely not. They have smaller springs. It's, it's noticeable. The Ultratech deploys the best of this group. Then you have the Hera, the Dirac Delta, the Combat Troodon, the Scarab 2, and I, I mean, okay, the Halo 6 and maybe some other ones. I don't know. But these all deploy, these all have more powerful springs in them. Uh, the Hera is the smallest of the bunch that has these more powerful springs. It's about the size of the uh, Troodon, but it deploys as with as much force as my Combat Troodon. Um, so if you like this size, but you were underwhelmed by the Troodon, the Hera is the one to go with. Um, they always charge a crap load more for the Hellhound Blade, but that's not too bad after having handled this guy. It's a little bit too small for me still, but it is powerful and it does feel good. Boy, look at that. <sighs> Custom double edge Scarab. Oh, mirror mirror polished oh baby oh boy that there's a good boy that there's a nice polish there guy wow holy moly that's pretty sweet only 2350 big ones <laughs> what voice am i doing i don't know uh turn into ned flanders is that's not ned flanders i can't even remember what ned flanders sounds like uh, let's see here. A whole bunch of scales, textured micarta, and smooth micarta for the XM18 3-inch. I haven't seen those for a while. If you've got a 3-inch hanging around, you might want to pick one of those up. That's a, that's kind of cool. Hold on, is this texturing or is it just tremors? Tremors bark? What? Eh, I don't like that as much as I thought that I would. I thought it was, I thought it was like texturing. Uh, what's this? What's this cup? Nottingham Tactical Whiskey Slinger Titanium Shot Glass. Um, not for $250, but thank you. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm getting closer to what I wanted to show you. He's just, he's just dragging it out so that he can put more ads in his video. <laughs> I mean, you know, the longer you do a video, the more ads you can put in. But I mean, I think we all know that the longer the video is, the fewer people are watching. So you, there are diminishing returns there. But it's okay. You keep that. That's okay. You can keep thinking that you're smart. <laughs> why am I picking fights with the? Why am I picking fights with you guys? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that. What is this? Oh my god, my inner mall ninja is just fighting to get out right now. Look at this. Look at that. Would you look at that? Hold on. I want to, I want to, how did I blow this up last time? I, I, uh, I, I clicked on the, that other one and it like blew it up. Like it made it the whole screen. I don't know how to do it. Open in a new tab. There we go. Oh boy. That is freaking crazy, man. <laughs> That's cool. I've never, whoops. Sorry. Darn it. I've never, uh, I've never seen anything uh, quite like that. I've never heard of HT Customs. Tantozashi, Cottonwood Timascus. Cottonwood Timascus, oh, that's the guard. Vegas Forge Virus Damascus, wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, now we're getting back into where we were the last time I did this video, but I saw something that was either added and just like populated on an older page or more than likely something that I missed the last time I went through this. And I believe it's on page 12 or 13. It's also possible that I covered it and then just forgot about it. There's, oh, there's more than one. There's one right here. And there's also one right here. Uh, this is far and away the most interesting. I am very close to pulling the trigger on this and I'll tell you why. This one's, this is an Ultratech that is frag textured and 
for some reason were so it's just not it's just not uh, a signature series it's just a blade show special black g10 frag right it's fine with me that it's g10 magna cut that's probably why it's only 265 but look at this blade oh boy double edge bayonet look at that how there's almost like a little sharpening choil there i mean it is that is really cool this right to me right now is the coolest ultra tech on the market um this uh, i i just didn't know i didn't know that this was here uh, i didn't know if you guys knew that it was here um, but it's here and they also have, let's go back and look at the blue one real quick. Cause I, I honestly had missed that one the first time I looked through here. Yeah. So this guy, okay. So this guy's going to be a little more cause they got an aluminum scale on it. Right. All right. Um, that blows my mind that the other one is, is only $265. It's gotta be the least expensive fragged Ultratech out there. I mean, this is nice too. If you like blue, I don't think, is this one also Magna cut? It doesn't even say, what can we see on the blade? That looks like that says M390. Okay. So this is just a new blade shape that they're doing. Um, yeah. Okay. That's kind of neat. I didn't realize that, but this is the blade. This has to be the best priced ultra tech on the internet because the least expensive ultra tech that I remember ever seeing uh, in the last few years was like 280. This is 265 fragged G10 and a Magna cut double edged bayonet blade. Pretty cool. Sometimes these little, these little special little babies exist. You know, you just got to dig them up. This is a little, little piece of treasure right here that I wanted to share with you guys. So, uh, yeah, check it out here on page, uh, what is it, 12? Yeah, page 12. Pfft, boy, really nice. Let's check out the restocks page really quick here. Hold on. Give me a little sec here, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm developing a new character here. Uh, yeah, ba 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 job. Nope, nope, nope. This is kind of neat. The Maverick Toxic Storm. Uh, these are a lot of the, it's a lot of stuff that we saw why we, I mean, like they, they're populating these things. <gasps> there's that, there's my special baby there that I'll never ever buy. Cause it's $5,000. Um, this is cool. Make this, make this in the full size. And I would actually consider buying it. Um, so I think I have one of these coming. Uh, E-Knives wanted me to check this out and I had, ne I've never actually checked out the quantum Ursus. And they, this is their exclusive. So if you didn't know, this is one of the least expensive Shure Garofs on the market. They got some good stuff here. Um, if you didn't know, least one of the least expensive Shure Garofs on the market. Uh, and E-Knives has an exclusive. Um, Microtech Glycon. They still have the SOCOM Bravos. The manual SOCOM Bravo Tanto. That's the one I have. It's freaking ridiculously epic. Spyderco Yojumbo in Blackout. Uh, DLC and Black G10, that's there. Haven't seen those in a bit. Is that a, a Black Titanium Impulse? That's really cool. <sighs> that's just a Blackout Impulse sitting there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I think uh, that's, a, that's a great knife, by the way. Um, I'm sure somebody will pick that up. This is why I check these restock pages, man. These are These are... This is where you find the treasures. And I know some of you check these. Some of you don't. If you don't check them, you should be checking the restocked pages on the retailers that have them. Blue, Sapphire, Godson, also definitely worth picking up. Lots of Recon 35s. I'm looking through. I feel like I've seen this stuff before. I'm looking through just in case. Uh, Utex 85 step side... Um, Spartan Blade, CQC7 Operator. I didn't even know they did that. <laughs> That's cool. Eh, some pens and then, 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 then we'll go one more page. One more page. And oh, 
Is that a... Oh, that's a combo edge. Combat Troodon, Bounty Hunter. I was going to say, if that was a, a straight edge, that'd be gone. HK, HK, HK. I honestly didn't know they were still making... Um, that they were still making straight edge. Look at that. OD Green. That's another full Cerakote version of it that I've never seen. Full OD Green. Pretty cool. Dagger. It's a nice one. Okay. Guys, that's going to be pretty much it. This was a fun one. There's a ton of stuff at eKnives that you should be checking out. Um, so, yeah. Use the links down in the description. It really does help my channel. As soon as you click them, uh, it, it helps me if you decide to buy something. Um, so, please do that if you plan to buy something. If not, you know, that's also okay because it's totally your choice. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.